Uh, I've had to sneak this video in because I actually forgot to teach this part and it's so important. So this is about uh, managing the permissions on an individual file after you've published because you may well know that let's say I've got uh, let's say I've got this one no I haven't signed in I should say I'll use this one if I go server publish give that a second right and oh, these are all published data sources um, you'll I oh, know here permissions right so if I click here I go edit I can control the permissions of what people can and can't do, right, for this particular workbook. But how do I change that once it's already been published? Well, online, the way you do it is if you have some sort of file here, right, so I've got the MBA salaries, and I want to lock down the permission to let people do certain things, right? So if I click more actions, go permissions. Okay, let's just zoom out a bit, right? So I've got the all users one. Right, which means this is the rule that's going to apply to everybody except for administrators because they are going to have the highest access regardless of any permissions on the entire site. Right, and from here, there's three main categories view, interact, and edit. And if you hover, you'll be able to see what they each mean. So you can have view, which means just to look at it, uh, download it as a PDF or an image, download the summary data, comments, add comments, filtering. Download the full data, share it, web editing, that's a big one, saving, I believe this is save as, moving, deleting, and then setting permissions. Right, now that's what applies to everybody. But what if I wanted to give a certain person different conditions, right? So you can add additional rules. So this is your default rule, right? And then adding a user specifically will overwrite that rule to give that person the rules that you set. Right, so the way you modify this is if I click here and go edit, right, I can tick or cross this. Now, if it's unspecified, that is the same as a cross, right, except where groups are involved, right? So let's say I have a group of users that I've created, right, using this button right here. I can create a group of people, right? If I set different rules to the group, versus different rules to the individual. If I haven't specified the rules, it will take on the rules of the group. Okay? And vice versa, I can't remember how it works. But that's that's what you want to do um, in terms of your permissions. So here I can let's say I want everyone to just have full access. I can turn that all on. Okay? But let's say that Jed guy's been a bit of a troublemaker. I don't want him like doing all sorts of stuff just here. I don't trust him, right? Because I saw the way he looked at me in the street the other day. Right? I can go in here and just let him view and not let him do anything else. Right? So that's how you can set your permissions. And you can do it at different levels. You can do it at the view, uh, at the um the dashboard level, at the workbook level at the project level, it's completely up to you. And again, it works in a hierarchy. So what I would recommend if you're just getting used to this, right, is get a few guinea pigs, some of your friends, some of your colleagues, and start playing with the permissions and see what they can and can't see. Once you do that, once or twice, it's actually pretty straightforward. It's a really, really simple way to um, monitor and manage all your permission settings. And when someone goes, hey, listen, can I have access to this? right it's really easy to come in here and just add them as a user okay so that's how you would do your permissions and one last thing is i'll show you this groups thing if i haven't showed it before so if i go groups it works kind of similarly to users but if i go new group right enter a group let's say project project um kfc got the munchies create okay I've got all, uh, Project KFC, and I can add people to this group. So go add users. So we've got Jed, and then I can tick everybody else that is going to be in this group. And then I can reference that group either for permissions or for comments or um, for subscriptions. And it's just another way to manage your users. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.